Hello, just a little uh, techno geek video excerpt because I've literally just got my gimbal and um, Hero 3 with a, uh, sorry, Hero 4 with a screen. And what it does is there's the camera, and if I move it nice and steady, you've got three motors one here, one here, and one here. And what they do is they add complete stability to it. So at the moment it's on horizon mode. Let's just turn the screen back on so I can see what I'm doing on the camera as well. Because this one has got a screen on the back and the clasp doesn't cover it like it did on the previous um, gimbals. But basically you can run around with this and it will keep that camera super, super steady. Like that. And if you pan it, it pans in time. How splendid is that? And then I think if you do a... There's a button on the back here... And if you press it and hold, so I'm going to point it at the camera, at the, what's it, click and hold, right, and now it won't change. So now it's always looking at whatever it was looking at. It's crazy. And then just press that and let go. There we go. And now it should be back in normal mode. That's it, yeah, with tilt, so it'll look down upon stuff as well. We pan like Johnny Five. But yeah, brilliant bit of equipment. It's going to make cinematography absolutely fab. It's going to have a quick walk around the uh, the rooms. It's going to have a look and see what we've got going on here. So at the moment it's in horizon mode. So if I give it a couple of presses, it now tilts down slowly. So we can see the studio. In fact, if we come around here, Let's turn the light on and then with a bit of look we should start to get some light on the ceiling. And if we come round here, got the blind down at the minute. Open the blind and there is Edna sitting out there. What a fantastic gizmo. It's really going to make a difference to uh, cinematography on the whole. It really is going to make a massive difference. You know, I mean, I'm just walking around, walking around. In fact, if I want to go cinematic, what I'll do is I'll give it two presses. And now, oh no, hang on, one press. That's it, one press does your horizon. So now I can walk around, I can do whatever I want with it, up in the air, tilt my hands, backwards and forwards. I mean, can you see my hand in there? Yeah. You just start to see the gadget in there and it's still keeping it nice and smooth and then if I want to look down on something give it two presses there we go and then it goes down there you can see my piano diddly diddly diddly. Whee. so say for example I'm doing an interview I can press and hold the button on the back okay and now it will always look at me right I'm just going to have a quick look outside and see what it's like in daylight so I was prattling about before, so I'll just have a quick little zuzz around the car, see what it's like at review footage. Yeah, man. It's pretty good. And if I do that, and I can just have it pointing forward, and I can do all sorts of camera work like that. If there's any neighbours watching, they're going to think I'm talking to myself. Tracking shot back up, follow the car, piece of cake. What's the other mode I wanted? Hang on, put the screen back on. So if I want to always look at the house, press and hold the big button on the back, and now, oh, if I don't go out of range of the thing, and now, no matter where I twist this thing, and even if I bring it up here and twist it, totally stable and then press and release and then it'll stay on horizon two clicks and that bands up and down brilliant oh I want horizon don't I let's see get it nice and stable uh, what is it we want one press that's it now I can track in Around the car. Whew. 
see what that looks like in the house. Let's go back in. Always maintaining horizontal camera plane. So we've always got cinematic quality video without any uh, tilt. Brilliant.